Hi, today I'm going to make Swedish meatballs. And of course, you're going to need some ingredients. So I'm going to show you the ingredients now, and then I'm going to show you how to make them. Well, first of all, you need a small yellow onion. And then you need about four tablespoons of breadcrumbs. And then about half a cup of water. And you need some salt, of course. One tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna put an egg in there as well, but you don't really need an egg. Uh, one tablespoon of margarine or butter. Uh, and of course you're going to need about a pound of ground or minced meat. And of course you're going to need some black pepper as well. That's how it looks like in Sweden. Things you also need is a, uh, a bowl and a shredder or a grater depending on what country you're from. And of course you need a frying pan. A frying pan. Well, first of all I'm going to mix the, the breadcrumbs with the water and about a teaspoon of salt and some black pepper as well. And just stir it around a little. And let that sit for a while, okay? And now we're going to do the the uh, onion. So now I'm going to to ground up this onion with a with this side, so it gets pretty fine. Okay, uh, an alternative to doing this is to uh, chop it up very finely with a knife, which is might be uh, just a tad bit easier. And then you're going to mix everything together in the bowl that you have uh, mixed your other things. Sorry about that. Meat. Right, and just mix it together until it's, you know, mixed. Okay, I'm just going to add some, some extra spices to the mix. I'm going to add some cayenne. I'm going to add some paprika as well. Just because I like a little bit more taste to it. And of course I'm going to add the, the egg as well. Like I said, you don't really need the uh, the egg. I just do it because it makes the uh, meatballs hold together a bit better when you fry them or when you cook them. The meat is ready now, and I'm going to show you just how you can do how you can make the meatballs. I recommend that you uh, have uh, wet hands when you do this because it makes things a little easier. Okay, take some meat with a spoon perhaps and then you just shape the meatball to uh, preferred size and shape and when you've, you're done, you just place it on a plate, awaiting the frying. <laughs> it's good if they are, you know, approximately the same size and shape. Now I'm going to fry them. I discovered that they were a bit wet, so I just, if you're going to add an egg, use less water or use more of the breadcrumbs so they are you know nice and firm so you can fry them my first attempt was a bit of a disaster so uh, here's take two <laughs> and we will see if I can make better ones I guess 
this is actually the first time I make meatballs on my own, so uh, you know, have some patience, and I'll try to have some patience with me as well. It's not easy, you know. I recommend that you use a non-stick pan, frying pan that that is actually have some of the non-stick material left on it. Try to fry them on all over, make them get a nice color, and uh, when they have a nice color, you lower the temperature and you just fry them another five minutes or so. So they get properly and thoroughly cooked. You know, if they don't get entirely round and circular, then uh, that's fine. Because they, uh, they're yours, you've made them yourself. And you should be proud of yourself for accomplishing something as difficult as meatballs. Well, it's not brain surgery, but it's close to it. It looks a bit like small, tiny brains. All right, my meatballs are just about done. Put them on your plate. As you see, they are quite dark, which wasn't really my intention. But uh, sometimes stuff just happens. And I will show you in just a minute how I, most of the time I, I eat meatballs. Okay, so how this is how it looks. Uh, I got some, uh, you know, some uh, some lingonberry jam, some potatoes, some vegetables, and of course some sauce with the uh, the meatballs. Please tell me what you think about this uh, video. Do you want me to make more cooking videos of me making Swedish, typically, typically Swedish meals? Don't forget to rate this video with a thumbs up. And subscribe if you like my videos. I also make uh, some a bit silly movie reviews of mostly horror movies, I think. Next time I will be making Artsoppa, which is a soup made out of yellow peas. I think they're called yellow peas. And uh, so I will see you next time. Bye bye.